Hi, uh, welcome to our uh, Facebook ad campaign manage management series number three. Here we are going to learn how to create the audience. Audience is very important to run a campaign because you do the best campaign, but if it's not going to the right audience, it, it won't bring any results. So let's see how we can uh, create the audience. So this is basically our uh, ad manager place uh, where you can actually create your audience. So you can go on the left, there, is our, there are three, oh, sorry, there are four lines and it says all tools, click on the all tools and uh, you can click on the audience. So basically there are two types of audience. One audience is basically uh, what we call it as a demographic uh, audience. Demographic or basic audience are uh, someone who are basically, uh, uh, who are limited to a particular geographic, uh, particular age, uh, particular gender and uh, and some of uh, behavior and interest so we already have a uh, one of such campaign been uh, uh, so one of such uh, interest group has been created as a demo so here we have a location as a pakistan you can see and uh, we have a age group 20 to 45 we have a gender female and we have a interest and behavior which are basically the interest is people who like uh, organic foods and organic product behavior people who prefer uh sorry people who prefer to to people who prefer meat and high value products in pakistan so these are this is the behavior so basically there are two dimensions of the audience uh for interest and behavior and there is another three dimension which is the demography age and and the gender here i would like to also make a uh, i would like to clarify that uh, when you're running the ads it's not necessary that you can just run the ads within the location like if you are if you are from Chrome you can just run the ad for Chrome only or if you are in Tajikistan you can run within Tajikistan only you are sitting in in Chrome and you can still run the ad for a very small city like uh, uh, West Palm Beach in 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 Florida in USA so you can actually run the ads wherever you want so that you can sell your products uh, to that particular uh, locations for example you are making something beach product which can be only be used on a seaside. So you you just want to promote that product to go to those places where there are good beaches. So uh, just for clarification that uh, this demographic can be of uh, any dimensions without any limitations. So that's one thing. Second is uh, second uh, types of uh, ad, which is basically a custom audience, which is based on uh, people who are visiting to your websites for last 30 days or doing some shopping on your website or uh, uh, people who are engaging to your page and post. So go, Facebook keep all the records. So you can basically go to the Facebook, you can ask them that I would like to make a custom audience who are basically, uh, who are engaging with my page and I would like to target my new campaign to them who are already engaging my page and they knew me. You can further create a look alike audience these look alike audience are those audience uh, they are like a very much uh, they look alike to the audience which are coming to your uh, websites or facebook page and you can target your uh, product and services to those look alike audience so let's try to create one ad uh, one audience so i'll just go to a custom audience and i got many uh, many options like people who visit my websites people who like my apps people who go to my catalogs, people who engage with me offline in my store. And me, I can also upload the customer list. If I have a phone number and email and name of a person, I can upload the customer list and I can reach those targets. At the same time, I can also uh, uh, reach to those uh, customers who have actually in past watched my videos or who have filled in the lead forms and did some shoppings and so on and so forth. We'll, we'll go for a very basic uh, custom audience, which is, which is basically a uh, people who engage with the with my uh, Facebook page. So I click on this, I click on next, and I click on. Uh, uh, as I said, I got many pages to manage. I'll go for uh, Hunza Fresh, which is a case study page, and I'll select the people who engage with my page. There's another option. I can actually say that people who visited my your page, people who engage with any of the posts and so on and so forth. There are many options here related to the Facebook page. If I would like to have a engagement with the website, then there is another option. 
So here I select my retention for maybe 360 days and I set and I give the name to 360 Friday Facebook page audience. So this is also very important that you should have a proper naming convention so that uh, you can remember that what are uh, what is this audience all about. So I said that uh, last 365 days uh, Facebook engage, engagement audience and I, I just for a safe side I can also put today's date which is uh, uh, 3 3.30 and I create the audience when I create the audience it asks me that do you want to also create a lookalike audience I say yeah I can go for a lookalike audience of one person people who are very much similar to those people who are engaging with my page so that's one person I said yeah, okay fine I can also have a people who are not very similar maybe a little bit different I am okay with that so I can go for two person Similarly, I can go for as far as 10 percent, but it's always advisable that you stay within one or two percent. And uh, it also gives an option that uh, do you want to uh, select any country? I say no, I still want Pakistan. So you can actually have your audience who are visiting your website and uh, you can have a lookalike audience maybe in US that people who love organic food, but not in Pakistan, but in US. So there are many options you can actually uh, uh, select from the audience and we will we will practice during our uh, learning sessions in the lab. So I just create the audience. So when you create the audience, so see it's, it shows you the numbers that how big is your audience. So in most of the cases, I got very small audience because very few people in Pakistan, they, they go for uh, uh, organic foods. So that is one thing and secondly, um, so this is a custom audience, this is a lookalike audience and a special audience there is an option uh, that is basically uh, uh, those uh, those audience which are required if you are running an ad which is which is a credit, uh, credit means a bank uh, for bank or for employment or for housing but we are, we are not concerned about this ad so just forget about that. Uh, we can stick to basically three major kind of uh, audience. One is the custom audience, one is a lookalike audience, and another audience which which is a basically demographic ba based audience, uh, which we can also create while we are creating our ads. So, for example, if I'm uh, I'm uh, creating my ads, uh, let's go to the ad manager. Uh, so, so see you can see this uh, Facebook is taking really long time to load so don't get uh, you know distress or impatient that you know uh, something wrong with your computer there's nothing wrong with your computer Facebook, Facebook is usually very slow and also remember when you complete your campaign sometimes it will say ad is missing so don't worry about that it's, it's just because the uh, Facebook is really slow. So what you can do when you are here, you can actually also create the audience. Here it says here. See here it says create a new audience, the custom audience and lookalike audience. And this is a basic uh, custom audience that. Uh, see here you can once you create the audience, you can call your audience here. So it's always good that you create the audience from the audience and you can call it so that you don't waste your time. So here I'm I just selected. Uh, you know, per, uh, one person lookalike audience and it automatically bring all the details and uh, you can complete your ad campaign. Otherwise, you have to, every time you have to fill in this information. So this is a quick walkthrough about how to create a audience profile in uh, Facebook and use it in your ad campaign. Hope you get uh, knowledge out of it and uh, we'll practice in our, uh, the learning session. Thank you very much.